And new details about what happened just before and after an Asiana airliner crashed in San Francisco on Saturday. At least two people were killed. NBC's Miguel Almaguer is in San Francisco. Miguel, good morning. Natalie, good morning. Asiana Airlines says the pilot behind the 777 was trying to land at SFO for the first time, and it appears the plane was too slow and too low. First responders said it was a miracle anyone survived. Runway 28 left, littered with wreckage, mangled debris, and stories of survival. I thought, you know, I was dying. That was the moment. Eugene Ross says when the plane slammed into the ground, fear was in the air and silence filled the cabin. Nobody was moving. There's no sound, nothing. But soon came the cries. Flight 214 was packed with children. 13-year-old Angelina Andragetto knows she narrowly escaped with her life. Bad luck that I was on that plane that crashed. Good luck that I survived. The two fatalities were girls who were just 16. The victim is part of a group of children headed to a summer retreat in Los Angeles. Our first response was, um, there's no way there are any survivors on that airplane. But many of the passengers not only escaped with their lives, they walked away. 53 of the injured, some critical, were treated at San Francisco General. In your head, everything goes into slow motion. You just don't believe it's happening. You don't know if you're going to be dead at the end of the slow motion or not. Ben Levy saw passengers with broken bones, burns, and bruises. From the tarmac, he saw his plane go up in flames. Are you surprised it wasn't worse? Um, I am, yeah. I think it's a miracle. Again, if we, that plane didn't stay on his belly, we would be not here. <laughs> Today, the San Mateo County Coroner's Office is investigating whether one of the two victims may have survived the crash but was killed on impact by an emergency vehicle. Meantime, here at the hospital, six remain in critical condition. Natalie.